presidential race. Donald Trump continues to hold a comfortable double-digit lead over Ted Cruz and the rest of the Republican field. This occurs as some establishment Republicans seem to be reconsidering their initial suspicions of Trump, while a group of conservative thinkers is slamming the billionaire. Senior political correspondent Mike Emanuel has all of that for us tonight. Good evening, Mike. Well, Brett, good evening. The Republican race, according to the latest Fox poll, reveals a two tiers on the Republican side. Donald Trump leads with 34 percent. Ted Cruz is second with 20 percent. And then Marco Rubio at 11 percent. Dr. Ben Carson at 8 percent. Everyone else is at 4 percent or less. And our pollsters say one of the most notable things is that none of the lower tier candidates has been able to get any oxygen. The Fox poll also asked GOP primary voters if there's any candidate they could just not support against the Democrat in November. 15% say they would refuse to vote for Trump. 10% mentioned Jeb Bush. At this critical stage, tension is building. Ten days out from the Iowa caucuses, and it's feeling like a two-man race on the Republican side with Donald Trump versus Ted Cruz. Trump is out with a minute-long ad attacking Cruz on immigration. I want immigration reform to pass, and that allows those who are here illegally to come in out of the shadows. Meanwhile, Cruz is running an ad attacking businessman Trump on the issue of eminent domain. Fancy term for politicians seizing private property to enrich the fat cats who bankroll them. Like Trump. Last night, the National Review came out against Trump, featuring 22 conservative voices from Glenn Beck to Bill Kristol to Cal Thomas. In an editorial in the conservative publication, they wrote, quote, Donald Trump is a menace to American conservatism who would take the work of generations and trample it underfoot. Trump quickly punched back on Twitter. National Review is a failing publication that has lost its way. Its circulation is way down, with its influence being at an all-time low. Sad. Yet on April 25th of last year, Trump tweeted to the publication, really important to save National Review from going out of business. We need a true conservative voice. Today, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush defended National Review. Donald Trump needs to defend why he was supportive of Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, why he gave money to the foundation, why he gave money to her campaign, why he thought that Hillary Clinton would be a great negotiator as it relates to Iran. While not that long ago, he was anti-Second Amendment. Then Trump retweeted an apparent white supremacist criticism of Bush featuring this photo saying, poor Jeb, I could have sworn I saw him outside Trump Tower the other day. Many Republicans are clearly worried it's down to Cruz versus Trump after waiting for months for Senator Marco Rubio to break through. In New Hampshire, Rubio took this swipe at Cruz. You know, I think people are learning a lot about Ted Cruz right now and the fact that, you know, he portrays himself as a consistent conservative, but the fact is he's been very calculating on some of those positions and, you know, Donald is now pointing that out and the press and others are starting to point that out, so I feel very optimistic. With the entire East Coast bracing for snowmageddon, it's also having an impact on the campaign trail. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie.